and welcome to your daily sex IQ question at 5MI Weekly. Today's question concerns the biology of acquired immune deficiency syndrome, or AIDS. <laughs> Before sharing today's question, let's do a quick recap on what we've learned thus far from our sex IQ test. We've learned the average age people are first engaging in sexual intercourse, the percentage of men having extramarital affairs, and the percentage of women who have engaged in anal intercourse. What will we be learning today? True or false? A person can get AIDS by having anal, that is rectal intercourse, even if neither partner is infected with the virus that causes AIDS. Give yourself a point if you said false. Only 50% of Americans got this question correct in 1991, and only 67% of Americans got this question correct in 2016. The results of this simple question are shocking. Hmm. One out of every three Americans today believes AIDS is caused by anal intercourse. It looks like it's time for a basic biology lesson. AIDS has one cause. It's caused by a virus named the Human Immunodeficiency Virus, or HIV. If a person does not have HIV, and his or her partner does not have HIV, then neither partner will get AIDS from engaging in any sexual behavior with one another. And it doesn't matter what the sexual behavior is, whether it be kissing, or oral sex, or vaginal sex, or anal sex, or hanging from the ceiling with one another. So what does all this mean? It means a false stereotype left over from the 1980s that anal sex causes AIDS continues to misinform our sexual knowledge. It also means we need more open and honest discussions about human sexuality to fight stereotypes about STIs. For example, did you know medically testing to determine whether a person has an STI is relatively simple and often free. Did you know people between the ages of 15 and 24 account for the majority of all new STIs? However, due to a lack of objective sexual knowledge across the lifespan, one of the fastest growing populations being diagnosed with STIs are hmm. senior citizens. Did you know there are vaccines or treatments for all of the STIs? And many STIs are curable. But because of guilt, fear, and shame, many people with STIs go untreated. And this can have dire health consequences. For example, untreated STIs in the United States every year cause more than 24,000 females to become infertile. Did you know the probability of a person with an STI transmitting it to their partner is dependent upon their sexual behaviors? The probability is lowest with kissing and highest with anal sex because the tissue lining of the rectum is relatively thin and without proper lubrication is apt to tear. That's all my time for today. Be sure to keep a running total of the number of questions you answered correctly and the type of question you've answered correctly as well. Today's question was a biological type of a question. See you tomorrow for sex IQ question number five, a biological question about HIV.